All right, guys, in this video, let's go ahead and test this get user and update user. So first we name this to should and then get user. And now let's go ahead and simply create a random UID. So I'm going to say user or actually Anna and then UID equals to and then UID dot random UID. And in fact, let me go ahead and steal Anna right here. So I'm going to steal Anna from here and put it here. And this will be Anna and then UID. So Anna UID. And now I need to mock the get user. So if I go back to the user service, you see that get user. So this method simply returns user DAO select user by user UID. So we have to mock this part right here and this returns an optional. So to do so, go back to your test given fake data DAO dot select user by user UID and then pass Anna UID and then dot will return and the return type of this method right here is an optional. So I'm going to say optional dot of pass Anna, just like that. And if I collapse that so you can see everything. And now I can simply go ahead and simply say user service dot and then get user pass Anna UID. And this will return an optional. So first I'm going to assert that user dot is present dot is and then true. And then I'm going to get the user. So I'm going to say user dot and then get just like that. And in fact, just let me rename this to optional. So shift F six user optional. And this I can rename this to actual user just like that. And now I can simply copy all of this because it's the same. Just like that. And in fact, just let me refactor this. So I'm going to press Alt Command and then M. And right here, I'm going to say assert user fields. Enter and then yes to replace whatever I find this repetition. And you can see that it replaces everywhere. So this is it guys. This is all we need for this should get user. If I run the test, you should see that it works as expected. Now, let me go ahead and simply cut this and put it down at the bottom. And let's test this update user. So the update user will be a bit different but it follows the same standards. The update user simply does the same thing. So get user invokes get user and the get user simply has an invocation to user DAO dot select user by user UID and also has this update user from the user DAO. So we have to mark both invocations on user DAO. So let me go back. And what I'm going to do is simply say UID, or in fact, let me go ahead and grab some code from here. So I'm going to steal this code right here and then put it, put it, and then put it here. And now I can go ahead and simply say given, or in fact, it's just the same thing as we did here. So that, and then paste it there. And now I also have to mock the update. So I'm going to say given and then fake data DAO dot and then update user and then pass the actual user or actually Anna. And then I will simply say dot will return and then one. Now I can go ahead and simply invoke my service. So I'm going to say user service dot update user pass the user or in fact, Anna, sorry, I keep, I keep forgetting. So this is Anna. And now I can assert a few things. 
first let me extract this to a variable because I get a result from the update so I'm going to call it update and then result and now let's go ahead and you know see what we can assert we can actually assert whether this is 0 or 1 but we can also assert that these two methods were indeed called so select user by user uid and update user so what I'm going to do is simply say verify so mokido dot verify and I'm going to verify that fake data DAO dot and then select user by user uid and then the uid was actually an uid just like that and also I can assert that the update result dot is equal to one so just like so and if I run this test you can see that it works as expected we can actually do one more thing and this is actually using argument capture so you see right here where we update a user so if I go back to user service so right here when we update a user this user DAO update user simply receives a user and we can actually capture what user was sent to do so go back to the test and right here so before we actually invoke the service I'm going to create an argument and then capture and we want to capture a user and I'm going to call it as capture equals to and then argument capture and then dot for class user dot and then class and now I can also verify right here so I can say that verify that fake data DAO dot update user and I'm going to capture the value so I'm going to say capture dot and then capture like that and now if I want to assert this value that was captured I can simply retrieve it like so I can say capture dot and then get value and this gives me a user and I'm going to call it user and now I can assert and then user fields simply pass user like that and we're good to go so if I now run the test and I do have an error because I've used the verify incorrectly so right here you see that is not the same I'm just missing the brackets right here and remove this one here again if I right click run you should see that our test now works perfectly and this is it guys this is how we test using capture and verify so in fact you've just learned how to use mokido in this course so far because this is pretty much what you do you actually say given and then this is the mocking part so you simply telling it what to return right here you've just learned how to capture values and the reason why we use argument capture is because the user is a complex object and it's not like this uid right here so right here we can simply say the uid that we already know but if this uid was a complex object then we would need to use a capture like we did for this scenario right here and then we simply get all the values and assert the fields this is all for this video if you have any questions please let me know otherwise join me in the next video where we will implement these two test methods join me there see ya